been using the Superflex tent now for many years and uh, there have been several uh, single country registries that have shown promising results but ultimately the real test of a, a stent is a randomized controlled trial against the market leader and the talent trial was uh, pitting the Superflex stent uh, with the Zions uh, stent. It was a really challenging trial because it was an all commerce includes all different type of patient and subtype of, of populations. Involved all kinds of conditions from heart disease, significant heart disease, to myocardial infarctions, to diabetic patients. So there's generally patients we do see in our everyday practice. And in all these case scenarios, it performed extremely well. It was a study of you know, 14, 50 patients, randomized one is to one. And uh, the statistical power had, to, had been calculated 4% as the non-inferiority margin, which is quite standard. And uh, we showed that uh, we you know, passed this test and in all respects, it is non-inferior to one of the world leaders, which is the Abbott stent design. There are many advantages of the Superflex stent, of which the ultra-thin strut is just one. The technology of the stent, with the biodegradable polymer, with the elution profile, all of these factors, together with the ultra-thin strut stents, uh, are, in my opinion, responsible for the 66% reduction. And I think this reinforces the fact that we have a new device with a different characteristics from other devices that can be used in all kind of population uh, with results really comparable and really safe uh, as we can see in, in, the, in the talent trial. Other important aspect is that there are some kind of niche in which Superflex seems to be also superior as for uh, clinically indicated target lesion revascularization and for the treatment of big vessels. The interesting result of the trial is exactly, is, is exactly this one. So basically, maybe the 60 micron struts in all the diameter of the stent may have played a role in this better result against science, as well as I think that the new technology utilized that could be another important aspect. So I think it's quite reassuring for us to, uh, that have been using quite a bit of the stent, that the outcomes are just as good as the uh, best on, on the market. And it's a huge step forward for the Superflex stent um, and should give confidence to all clinicians uh, to use this stent as and when they require it. It finally proves to the rest of the world that these stents coming out of India are actually worth something. SMT has put a lot of effort into it and they've compared it against the best in the world and they actually have shown themselves to be equivalent to anything else that the West is producing at the moment. So in this sort of light, it can be viewed in a much sort of better way that these stents now are capable of comparing to the best in the world and functioning that way.